Today I'm here to tell you how Proteona is breaking the wall of cancer. This story starts with our patient number one, a cancer patient. I will tell you about her story that made us apply our technology in a way that none of us have anticipated. And one thing led to another. It triggered an avalanche. And this avalanche is now breaking the wall of cancer. Cancer is a disease like no other. From the people watching this video, about every one in five of us will experience cancer in our lifetime. 75% of the times, cancer therapy ultimately fails. 95% of all cancer drugs fail as well. Each failed drug is a loss of more than 1 billion euro. Medicine evolved tremendously in the past decades, from the first chemotherapy in the 60s to targeted antibodies and often extremely expensive tools against cancer, like immune cell therapy. So why do we still fail to treat cancer? There is one reason for it. Because tumors are very heterogeneous. Every cell in every tumor in every person is slightly different. Tumors are composed of different numbers of cells with different mutations and different genes. Often, a targeted therapy kills one specific clone of tumor cells. But this only leads to other tumor cells getting an advantage, becoming more aggressive and leading to a relapse. So, in order to find a cure for cancer, you will have to look in every person and every tumor and every cell, identify every mutation, sequence every mRNA and measure dozens of proteins to learn everything you possibly can about each tumor. And then devise a plan how to attack each individual cell with all known drugs and therapies. 10,000 cells, 300 mutations, 3,000 mRNA, 70 proteins, 200 known therapies, more than 40 million data points in a sample. Sounds like science fiction? No. This is exactly what we do. It's called single cell multiomics and then we take it one step further and mix it with artificial intelligence. And here is how this works today. We put every cell of a patient sample in a small bubble. We add the reagents to sequence the RNA and DNA and on top of that add antibodies that are each marked with a tiny barcode. We characterize each single cell and then we ask, have we ever seen a perfect twin of this cell before? In any of our previous experiments, in any patient, in any published data around the world? And has this perfect twin cell responded to any drug? And then we put all this information back together into one report for one patient with a specific recommendation and often a combinatorial therapy. So let's get back to our patient one. She had multiple myeloma and the name already states the problem. Multiple clones of tumor cells. It's a very aggressive blood cancer. Again and again, targeted therapies were chosen that brought some relief. Another tumor clone came up, grew, was targeted and reduced. And the cycle started again, more than 11 times. We analyzed the tumor cells. We got better and faster in selecting the effective treatments. We had very encouraging results. It worked. A few days ago, our patient one died. Our hearts are with the family and friends of her. We lost the race, this time. It hit us like a wall. But from the point when we started less than two years ago, things have changed. This one patient became a study with 400 patients, together with incredible clinicians in Singapore, Germany and the US. Our map cell artificial intelligence became one of the most comprehensive neural networks to analyze single cell multiomic data. The clinical data improved exponentially. Large biotech and pharma companies keep contacting us. Investment proposals have numbers with several more zeros. Nature has recognized us as a one-to-watch, most innovative university spin-off around the globe. It started with one patient, with one scientific experiment, and one thing led to another. It triggered an avalanche. And this avalanche is now breaking the wall of cancer, one cell at a time.